What's up? Hope you're having a beautiful day. Today I'm talking about how to let go. How to let go, meaning how to break attachment to people or things and to, you know, move forward. So how do we let go? And it's the thing that you want to let go of and release is this belief that we need someone or something to make us happy. And when we don't have it, when we feel like we're missing from our lives or somebody left us, we feel like unhappy and that we'll never be happy again because, you know, this person left or, or this thing was got lost or, you know, something you cherish is broken and, you know, you feel like you'll never be happy because you are attached to such thing or person. So it's the belief that you need something or someone to make you happy, that's not true, that is a lie. So remember, you don't need anyone or anything to make you happy. Happiness comes from inside of you. First, you become happy and you attract happiness. So how can we do this? So I, in that book by Wayne Dyer, um, there's a spiritual solution to every problem and he brought up such a fantastic point about breaking attachments and he was like the way to let go is to first release any demands or expectations that you've had on a, a person or a thing or anything let's say person or thing to release the expectations or any demands do not expect anything, number one, because when you expect something or demand it, you are trying to create a control within yourself. And you cannot control anyone. You can only control yourself. So expectation can lead to disappointment. So we don't want to expect anything from anyone or anything. One, once you release that. And then also, I want to use the example of people because... We mainly attach to people more than things. We can live without things. Like we were born without anything and we can, we're going to die without anything. You know, we just have our spirit. So, um, okay. So letting go, remember the things that you love about that person or the thing. It's just like loving unconditionally. It's, it's loving through appreciation. If we can love like the way you love the smell of flowers when you're driving by a field of flowers, or if you can love the way you love looking at a rainbow when you're just admiring its beauty, or you can love the way you get hugs from someone you care about, you know, or, or laughing or enjoying just a really good laugh. Those are, those are expressions of love, and you can appreciate those things. That's the way we should be loving people. That's the way we should be loving someone or something is through that way. You just love it for what it is and that's it. You can love someone from a distance and you can remember all the great things and I'm sure there was bad things as well. But I'm saying that appreciate what it was, what it was for, what the purpose was, and let that go because then once you let that go and you can appreciate that fact then you can attract more through somebody else who's probably part of your purpose or made for you and the cool thing about this is like when I think about couples lifelong people who are have their life partners and had them for a very long time you can love someone without being attached to them you can love them till the day you die without being attached to them they could be your spouse, you're married to them, and you guys are living together every single day until, you know, you guys get old and, and you know, one passes and the other one passes. But the point is, you can love them without being attached and loving them for just loving them for who they are. That includes loving their flaws. That includes loving, you know, tell them what you like about them. That includes loving yourself for who you are. 
because if you cannot love yourself for who you are and what you are, how can you love somebody else? That's the problem, you know? If we don't love ourselves, then that's why we get all these, that's why we get attached because we think that that's the thing that's going to fulfill us when the real fulfillment is our own self-love and accepting who we are and appreciating what we are, you know? You are God's creation. You are perfect. We tell ourselves that we are not perfect. And our whole lives, through our, from the time we were born to when we couldn't speak, you know, that is when we were truly our authentic self and completely living in truth of who we are and our creation, like living as our created selves authentically and purposefully. And then by the time we start speaking and, you know, our brain develops more after a few years from that age. And we start, you know, learning through our parents and, and television and media and school and teachers and people and all that stuff. We completely are trying to, we created this false image of what perfection looks like and we try to run after it and try to follow it by being what we aren't because we were told all our lives what we should be and that what we are is not enough, which is a lie again. So letting go is releasing expectation and releasing demands on someone else to fulfill you or make you happy. So release those expectations. Write a list of what you like about yourself and just appreciate all things as what they are, perfect and beautiful, even their flaws, okay? So I love you guys so much. Have a blessed day. Um, and stay healthy and blessed and I will see you guys later.